Muslims have been using the tasbih just like the Catholics use the rosary in prayers. In the following report, Abu Bakar Sapo looks at the similarities and differences between the two prayer beats among contemporary worshippers. Beads are mostly used as ornaments, but they also have a historical connection with religious worship. Such beads are known as prayer beads. The earliest example of prayer beads date from 8th century BC in India. Muslims and Catholics are among the faiths that employ prayer beads in worship. The word rosary comes from Latin, which means garden of roses, the rose being one of the flowers used to symbolize the Virgin Mary. Prayer with a rosary is considered very powerful and important devotion. The, the rosary is a prayer and it's also a devotion. Through this devotion, we meditate on the mysteries of our Lord. He's becoming human and then his life and in it also we give honor to Mary. The correct name of the Islamic prayer bead is Masbaha, Subha or Tasbihi. The words are synonymous to glorification or praising of Allah. By the masbaha, we mean the prayer beads that have been put together on a string, divided into three equal parts of 33, representing the 99 names of God. It is a tradition of the prophet, peace be upon him, to recite certain glorifications of God at the end of any canonical prayer. The rosary always carries the crucifix, which marks the beginning of its prayers. The device has a total number of 59 beads. The Islamic prayer bead mostly has a total of 99 or 33 beads. Unlike the rosary, the tasbihi carries a tassel or a marker bead as a starting point of recitations. The prayer beads are sometimes hanged in vehicles and also worn as necklaces and bracelets. The rosary, unlike the tasbihi, is often depicted in pieces of artistic works, especially Roman Catholic Marian art of the early 20th century. Spiritual beliefs are sometimes associated with the use of these prayer beads. Also distinct to the Islamic prayer bead is the act of finger counting, which is used in the absence of the device to achieve the same result of reciting the praises of God. So regardless of these subtle differences, the rosary and the tasbihi will forever remain liturgical objects among the believers of these two faiths.